Have you ever wished for a fluttering of butterflies to grace your garden? Today, we're going to show you how to create your own butterfly garden at home. Imagine the joy of creating a sanctuary where these beautiful creatures can thrive. Adding a dash of color and life to your own little patch of green will guide you through the planning, plant selection, planting, and maintenance of your butterfly haven. So, are you ready to bring a touch of magic to your garden? Stay with us to get the lowdown on creating a charming butterfly garden. A great butterfly garden begins with a solid plan. So, where should you start? Well, the first step in planning your butterfly garden is to choose the right location. Butterflies need plenty of sunlight, so a spot that gets at least six hours of direct sunlight each day is ideal. Next, consider the size of your garden. It doesn't have to be enormous. Even a small patch can attract a variety of butterflies if planted correctly. However, the bigger the garden, the more species you can attract. Finally, research is key. Know the types of butterflies that are native to your area. This is important because different butterflies are attracted to different plants. So by knowing what butterflies are in your region, you can tailor your garden to attract them specifically. Remember, planning is a crucial phase. It sets the foundation for the success of your butterfly garden. Once you've got your plan in place, you're ready to move on to the next step, selecting your plants. Butterflies are attracted to specific types of plants, so which ones should you choose? When it comes to creating a butterfly garden, there are two types of plants that you need to consider, host plants and nectar plants. Let's dive into the world of these fascinating flora. Host plants are essentially the nursery of the butterfly world. They're the plants where butterflies lay their eggs and where the caterpillars, once hatched, feed and grow. Without host plants, there would be no new generation of butterflies. Some examples of popular host plants include milkweed for monarch butterflies, parsley for black swallowtails, and willow trees for mourning cloaks. Nectar plants, on the other hand, are the food source for adult butterflies. They provide the sweet nectar that butterflies feed on, giving them the energy they need to fly, mate, and lay eggs. Some nectar plants that butterflies are particularly fond of include butterfly bush, coneflowers, and zinnias. Now, you may be wondering, can a plant be both a host and a nectar plant? And the answer is yes. Some plants, like the milkweed, serve a dual purpose. Not only is it a host plant for monarch butterflies, but its flowers also produce nectar that adult butterflies enjoy. But here's a tip. Don't just stick to one or two types of plants. Variety is the spice of life, even in the butterfly world. By incorporating a wide range of host and nectar plants, you can attract a more diverse range of butterfly species to your garden. Plus, a mix of plants will ensure that there's always something in bloom, providing a steady supply of nectar throughout the season. Remember, when choosing your plants, consider the specific types of butterflies native to your area. Different species are attracted to different plants, so do a little research to find out what your local butterflies prefer. With your plants chosen, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get planting. Now comes the fun part, planting your butterfly garden. This is where we truly get our hands dirty and our dreams start to take root. Let's begin. First, we need to prepare the soil. It's crucial to give your plants a healthy start. Remove any weeds or grass and loosen the soil with a garden fork or tiller. This improves air circulation and makes it easier for roots to spread. Adding compost or organic matter can enrich the soil, giving your plants the nutrients they need to thrive. Next, it's time to plant. Remember the plan you made earlier? It's time to bring it to life. Arrange the plants according to their mature sizes. Tall plants at the back, medium-sized in the middle, and smaller ones at the front. Think of it as a stage where every plant gets its moment in the spotlight. Now let's dig in. Make a hole that's twice as wide, but no deeper than the plant's root ball. Place the plant in the hole and backfill with soil, firming it gently around the base. Water, the elixir of life. After planting, thoroughly water each plant. This helps settle the soil and hydrates the plant. In the following weeks, keep the soil consistently moist, but not waterlogged. With your garden planted, you're almost ready to welcome your first butterflies. The stage is set and the actors are ready. It's showtime in your very own butterfly garden. Creating a butterfly garden is just the beginning. The real work comes in maintaining it. Now, the key to nurturing this vibrant ecosystem 
lies in regular watering, pruning, and weeding. Watering is the lifeblood of your garden, crucial for the growth and health of your plants. But remember, too much of a good thing can be harmful, so aim for a balance. Water your plants early in the morning or late in the evening, avoiding the heat of the day. Pruning, on the other hand, is a bit like giving your plants a haircut. It helps them grow stronger and bloom more profusely. Regularly trim back any dead or diseased branches and leaves. This not only keeps your plants healthy, but also makes room for new growth. Weeding is another essential task. Weeds are like uninvited guests, taking up valuable space and nutrients. Regularly remove them to ensure your plants have the resources they need to thrive. Organic fertilizers play a significant role too. They nourish your plants without harming the butterflies. A homemade compost or a store-bought organic mix can work wonders. And finally, avoid pesticides. They might seem like a quick fix for pests, but they're harmful to butterflies. Instead, consider introducing natural predators, like ladybugs or praying mantises, into your garden. With proper maintenance, your butterfly garden can provide a beautiful habitat for butterflies for years to come. So there you have it. You're now equipped to create your own butterfly garden at home. From planning your garden layout, selecting the right plants, to understanding the planting process and maintenance, each step plays a crucial role. Remember, it's not just about a beautiful garden, it's about creating a haven for butterflies, contributing to their conservation. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more gardening tips. And remember, creating a butterfly garden is not just about adding beauty to your home, but also about contributing to butterfly conservation. Happy gardening!